Market participants are looking ahead to the inflation data in the United States and the upcoming FEDS meeting. Meanwhile, different speculations are mounting ahead of these events. For instance, traders widely expect the U.S. regulator to pursue the tightening cycle at its meeting on a Wednesday. If so, the demand for the U.S. dollar will drop sharply. The US dollar index, which demonstrates its value against the basket of six major currencies, closed last week with the losses at the level of 103.50. Expectations of a purse in the rate hikes by the Fed were rising amid some downbeat macroeconomic reports released last week. In addition, the European Central Bank is expected to lift interest rates once again at its Thursday meeting to control rising inflation. However, even despite such an outlook, the euro was struggling to develop an uptrend against the US dollar and was trading near the two months low. The ECB is very likely to raise the rate at its meeting on Thursday, although the recent data shows that the eurozone economy has entered a technical recession. The central bank officials have emphasized several times that fighting in inflation remains the priority even though the economy might suffer. Such disregard of the EU GDP growth rate could be the reason why the euro is losing its shine among investors. Meanwhile, the British pound is again in ground against the US dollar approaching a yearly high. The Bank of England is also determined to further raise the interest rate in an attempt to combat inflation. Yet the UK economy remains relatively stable. In the meantime, the Japanese yen is still in a low demand among traders even though Japan's economy demonstrates a strong resilience. Against the US dollar, the yen has declined to its lowest level in six months. This week, the Bank of Japan will also hold a meeting, and its outcome is easily to predict. The monetary policy will most likely stay unchanged. Notably, today Japan boosted the most stable economy and the slowest inflation rate compared to other developed countries. Therefore, they have no reason for changing the monetary policy. In the commodities market, traders were cautioned amid mixed incoming data. In the middle of last week, market participants were betting on another rate hike by the Fed after evaluating the initial jobless claims report. However, by the end of the weekly session, the likelihood of a post in the tightening cycle brought gold back to the level of 1960 US dollars per three ounce. The precious metal is rather sensitive to speculations about interest rates because it compares with the government bonds for their status as an alternative store of value. As for oil prices, they were mainly shaped by recession fears. Amid the slow recovery of the Chinese economy, traders were worried that the global energy consumption may considerably decline. Oil wasn't able to develop an uptrend even amid reports that Saudi Arabia was ready to cut output by 1 million barrels per day. You have watched the uh, commodity and uh, currency markets review on the InstaForex TV channel. We wish you profitable trading and see you online soon.